Hey guys, I want to come to you all today and show how I'm going to make a donut out of a sock. These are the most famous donuts that you see mostly that is used to um, make the donut bun. These are the ones that you purchase. I purchased this out of my local beauty supply store. I believe it was for $3.99, I believe. But it's a foam um, donut thingy as well as it is it's kind of on the large side. So if you want to make one smaller, a sock will give you a smaller um, donut uh, where you can use in your hair. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make the small um, donut. First of all, you want to get a sock. That is the color of your hair. Most of my hair is black, so I'm going to use a black sock. And you will need is a pair of scissors. All you have to do, now what you need to do is you're going to take the toe part of the sock and you want to cut just the toe part of the sock off. I should have left it the, that way. It was better. Okay, you want to cut the toe part off. So you cut like maybe an inch um, off of the toe. Maybe about a good inch. Right. All right. So I'm going to cut it. Okay, now it is cut. All right. Now the second thing. Now what you would do next is you're going to take. Okay, you then you're going to take the sock and you're going to start up here at the top where the elastic is. You could either roll from this part down here like this, which I believe is kind of better, but then it gives you that yucky feeling. So what you want to do is turn the sock inside out. And by if if it's any reason why you don't want to um, use a sock with this with this just this plain cotton, you can get a satin band and just wrap that into uh, or wrap it around the sock or you can just get a black stocking or whatever color your hair is get a stock different color which I have is this this is the color so it is of a different color and what you want to do is get your scissors and you want to cut just the tip the end off of it all right okay so it'll look just like this okay it looks just like this and what you do you're going to go inside of the sock so since I'm going to do it that way, I'm going to turn the sock back inside out. All right. Now, what you want to do, you see you can put your hand all the way through like this. Okay. So my hand is all the way through. All right. Then I'm going to grab this end and I'm going to pull it on through the sock until I get to the top. All right. Like this. And you want to make sure that the stocking and the sock is the stocking and the sock is the same length on the inside there. All right, and then what you're going to do then is that's when you're going to start your rolling process. So it looks like this. Both of these are some very old things, okay? So, yeah, so you can tell the elastic is pretty much gone in that stock. So I'm just going to start rolling from that. And then what you want to do is just take it and just pull it on down. Just keep pulling it to make sure it don't bunch up as you're going. And you just roll and pull and as you want you can go inside of there and make sure you pull down on your stocking so it won't be bunching up in there as well and you just keep on rolling until you get it um till you roll it all the way and you keep going and pulling on things to make sure it's thinner because you don't want it so thick all right and you're going to roll it all the way down to the bottom like this. I give it a tug again to make sure that this is nice and secure. And you're just going to roll all the way on out. Right? Until you get to the bottom. Okay, as you can see now, I am at the bottom. Now, with this being like this, you can either cut it or you can just wrap it on around. So what I'm going to do is just wrap it on around. And it's going to be this way because I have this stocking on here. So it just makes it more easier to do. Alright, so as you can see, I wrapped it like that. And that secures that stocking. I mean, that uh, also is hiding that sock. Alright, so you want to just take that little bit. Get you a pair. Get your scissors to cut. Okay, now if you really want to be... Um, really uh, creative with this or you planning on keeping this for a long time and you don't want to keep making these then you can take this stocking right here and just get you a, a 
a needle and some thread and you see that like this little round part right here just stitch it all the way around that way this will stay in place and it won't keep uh, coming apart but yeah but this is it then it is done so as you can see you just go in there and you just stretch it on out as a matter of fact you can do that before you stitch it probably because you don't want your stitches to come apart and this is what the finished product look like so this is your uh, donut for your donut bun that's made out of a sock all right so if there's any questions comments post in the comment section of the video thanks so much for watching okay a quick tip guys just for you guys who like to wear this foam um, donut to make your buns with if you are one that don't like this foam up against your hair um, I do a quick I will show you what I do to um, stop that so that way it won't be up against my hair when I tried this foam and used it up against my hair I did not like how drying this uh, foam made my hair most of all my moisture that was in my hair is in this foam and that is just a no-go this day so what I do I have a um, this is just a headband which you could use to tie around your head or whatever and it's satin or whatever. you could buy these out of your beauty supply store for maybe a buck ninety-nine what I did was took this you could take this or any piece of old satin scarf or something that you no longer using or whatever and you long as it's something satin and that's that's not going to uh, take the moisture out of your hair you're doing that would be great and what you want to do is take that and you want to take it and just wrap it around you want to take it inside of here I'm going to show you what I do I'm not going to be on camera to show you everything but I just want to show you bits and pieces of it but I will take a picture to show you what the finished product is but I just want to show you what I did but you want to just take this thing and you want to wrap it around um, you want to cover this thing up so this is what I this is what I do I took it and just wrapped it this this uh, headband all the way around <laughs> this bun okay move out the headband on the onto the donut and just wrap it around again until I get it nicely until I get wraps it all up because I'm not going to cut my band and it's not going to stay onto this donut I'm just showing you how I use it all right and you just spread the band the band or scarf out over the donut pull it through like this sure I stay within the camera pull it through just like this smooth it out and you're just gonna do it until you finish with all your scarf you got or until you cover up the band all the way to where ain't none of it is exposed and once again I do I did take a picture I'm gonna take a picture once I'm finished to show you guys what the finished product is but it will look like this 